so anyway, the uh, so that's what's up. I mean, this this group of war had been trying to seize that technology, and if it hadn't been for that role, they would have done it. And so um, we just Scooby them, yeah. And so it's <laughs> so down there. I mean, all of a sudden, everybody is suddenly aware. Remember, this is the ruined, old, useless system with nothing on it, no special interests here, no resources to get upset about, nothing. Let's go there so we can have this conference. Uh-oh. Now there's a prize. Right. Well, now, I'm yep. assuming this is something that we've all heard that it, it can't be the way I'm looking at it. There's no way this secret could possibly be kept. No way. I mean, okay. Directly or indirectly within 10 minutes, everybody knows. And uh, I, mean, for uh, the, for, right. I mean, the, the, obviously, obviously there's like listening devices, you know, planted everywhere. Right. So sorry, Renee. Yeah. This is all, you yeah. know, being uh, uh, shouted about, uh, very animated uh, gestures, I'm sure. Um, I'm looking at everyone in the room, but specific, specifically the Scrang. Like, how are they reacting to this revelation? <laughs> um, as a matter of fact, they are absolutely gobsmacked. I mean, remember they had set up this, you know, this this, yeah. this was their base there, and apparently it had. You know, eluded them. They they had done their analysis of the city, and everything was dead, and all the rest of it. Um, the the Voir figured that out on their own somehow, um, and uh, they are yeah the the Scrang are are absolutely astonished. Um, but here's the bad news: at least some members of every single delegation are now eyeing the room in a completely different light. <laughs> Hmm. Yes. <laughs> hmm. Well. If it weren't I'm for right. all those others, we could have that. Right. Yeah. Yes, yes. But nobody, but nobody is uh, uh, owning up to the knowledge of it. Right? Well, only it's the, the yeah, only, no, no, they're, they're all yeah. shocked. Everybody's like, right. yeah. I'm yeah. kidding. All right. So, uh, I, I, I will again uh, address the room uh, and try to settle, you know. Uh, let's not forget the focus of what we are doing. This adds another element of the investigation. Now perhaps the delegation of selected individuals creating this whole new hole can perhaps uh, investigate uh, these, uh, these cities underneath, which... Uh, Duke is very keen on because oh, anything underground, I'm yeah, all about exactly. that. Yeah, exactly. It's like, ooh, check yeah. it out. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, Jerry, what's up with you? Oh, well, I'll suggest that, um, however, suggest that a drum from each hive is allowed to partake, that whatever we mulch below becomes property of uh, uh, the collective hive. Yes, yes. Let's begin mulching. <laughs> right. I can just see, like you know, one of the one of the thrall like leaning back to another thrall and say, "What's mulching?" <laughs> That's right. It's the the reuse of a material to feed or to build. <laughs> that's, a, that's how the hive is. When, when well masticated, first, of course. Yeah, exactly. Like. The hybrids have mulched many worlds, uh, but only annihilated a few. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Everyone's well aware of the history of the hybrids here. They have their own versions of those those terms. <laughs> so it's all mulching. So the um, so anyway, yes, there is. You are not the only person to be suggesting some sort of approach of this kind. But all I can say is that nobody is going to avoid the the unpleasant little thought in the back of the minds that you know i mean every one of these groups is culturally steeped in if there's a goodie get it first every one right. of them right that's the default yeah. policy that's really hard to let go of um despite some efforts to do so 
Okay. Well, that leads us, I think, into a slightly non-crisis situation. I mean, the firefight between the irredentist voir and the, you know, didn't break out, for example. Um, and so uh, I'm reasonably... And, and there's, there's a lot to do. Okay. Shall we proceed with the investigation into the explosion before worrying about bigger issues like down below? Uh, I would say so, but it, I guess it's, it's, it's hard to read the room. It seems like uh, uh, down below is really... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, people might be like, yeah, let's, let's do the investigation. Let's see how do the implosion. But, you know, really they're like, yeah, let's get down there. Right, and, uh, right. Nobody, right, exactly. Yes, You've got a point about that. Um, <laughs> the alien, your your buddy for the investigation of the explosion, though, is, is actually saying, you know, to you... Um, don't they realize that, you know, don't, shouldn't we figure out who actually set off a fucking bomb? Ellen, you are speaking nothing but truth right now. That is, uh, to me, my priority uh, for the safety mm -hmm. of uh, this congregation. Excellent. Yeah, we must, uh, we must get to that. So let's carry on then um, with that to some extent. Um, I'm interested in what, um, what Hiver would like to do. Well, Hyber, um, Hyber's way of thinking, it's all inevitability because Hyber, the hive will, you know, you know, persevere. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we find alien technology. If you find alien technology, we will mulch and we will have uh, alien technology. Right, right. So yeah, mm -hmm. Hyber is, uh, to, uh, yeah, that can sit on the back burner uh, unless it becomes an existential threat to uh, Hyber. Um, so Hyber is here to cooperate and to expand uh, uh, the Hive. So Hyber is uh, willing to work with its OMAT. Yeah. Is that the one? Uh -huh. Yeah, the AVIX. So yeah. Hyber. Right. So the four yeah. of you are the ones, are the only ones who go to the bomb site. It's Hyber, uh, OMAC, Dukun, and Aelin. Those are the ones who are actually at the explosion site trying to figure out more about it at this time um right. and then um as for kicks the call um you are you are now like a hero of the of the the at least some of the voir and that you saw um in terms of uh well in terms of a lot of things um and so right now they're uh they're very much including you in their debates. And the debate, you know, the debates range from should we shoot this guy in the head or not regarding the prisoner <laughs> um, all the way to, you know, do we seize the, the goodies down below of which there must be many um, or do we take our chance now um, and, uh, you know, set upon a strategy for this, this conference um, how do we how do we prove that the Scrang set off the explosion, like our good buddy the Avix here has told us? Um, I can't tell such a thing. They put they they put your two together with the two that they like best, and they ended up with four somehow. Yeah. So. <laughs> so much trouble. Yeah. Great. Um, I and, like it. Mm -hmm. So uh, so you're in the midst of all these discussions, and your opinion is solicited. Something. Mm -hmm. So, do we right. shoot this guy in the head or not? What's your opinion? No. Okay. Well, <laughs> how about going down and getting the 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 good stuff down below quickly, um, or making sure that we get the best of it before the others get to it? How does that sound? Mm. Uh, right out of the water, <laughs> rather, or out of the air, <laughs> mm -hmm. and feeling a little bit, oh, oh, what am I? I can't do this! <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're not all looking to you for leadership, it's just that everybody is used to having everybody's opinion. Yes! So, right. 
Mm-hmm. I, I, I was probably already a little bit shocked of the effect of my right. disclosure mm-hmm. and worried that that might get me into trouble <laughs> with my own people. And now these people want me to have opinions about things. So I'm uh, kind of wavering around mm-hmm. and we should go down there, but there should be somebody from each faction so we don't further the mistrust between all of us because we have to get away from here too with well, whatever we can salvage down there. So some of the people you're talking to think that that's very reasonable. Others throw up their hands in disgust and say, now you sound like the Meerkat. And, you know, everyone, again, more opinions. Yeah. Right. So, that, so that's all happening with you. I kind of like this little, you know, this little bustle of, of debate happening over there. Um, finally, uh, regarding the whole bomb site thing, um, examining the technology um, is certainly possible. Um, the the combined skills of the four of you, the per, per, the combined perspectives of the four of you, make this a. I mean, the pool isn't really set up for task roles anyway, right? I mean, mm-hmm. that's the it's and there's nothing sort of opposing you or pushing back on you at this. Um, the scrang would push back on you, except that they're very distracted right now. The whole downstairs thing is just like overwhelms them completely. So um, otherwise they probably would try to, to stop you since they haven't. Um, it's, it's on them. There was, there was a scrang attempt, official or unofficial, no way to tell, that, uh, that they were setting up the Esau and were actually willing to take out the Avix emissary, which, in other words, they've they've gone over the line. Well, that's the has the screen react to this? No, Are this they, is the like, this is the four. No, this is just the the four yeah, of you. Okay. this is just the four of you, like you know, taking scrapings and checking weird data that you and I, as human beings, could never even fathom through right. senses and logical processes and technologies. The special effects guys are having a blast showing all your forensic <laughs> bullshit going on with all four of you. I yeah, can't yeah. even possibly describe it. You just have to imagine it. Right. Well. Can I ask what the, the loom have been awfully quiet in all this. Uh, that, yes. You yeah. know that they're, mm-hmm. uh, is there, uh, what's the read on them? Okay, that's a. You'll have to investigate a little closer for certain things that I I know about them that they don't want to reveal. But as far as their behavior here is concerned, they have played it very cool. You're absolutely right to observe that. They have played it very cool, um, and have done the meet and greet, and they haven't done anything, you know, overt. They they have not yeah that's I, all i have to say is right now no no weirdness is coming off of them they seem to be here in as good faith as one could yeah well they, they seem to be here in as good faith as one could expect so within our our group here um especially looking at the the avix since yeah. uh mm-hmm. this is practically uh affecting his group oh yeah um, this uh-huh. um i'm like we need to uh, perceive uh, uh <laughs> these consequences <laughs> uh, hey, whatever what? means mm-hmm. our, our group here uh with uh, uh much trepidation this is uh, uh we oh. must move obviously to uh, uh to confront them in some way oh. but it could turn ugly and uh dissolve into uh, chaos quite quickly yeah, Omac is saying, I have to tell you, I I have no choice but to consider this a primary and ongoing security threat. When, uh, if, they, if they try to do something this extreme, they will be up to more. Absolutely. Um, so, uh, but we have to make sure we uh, uh, get as much support so we can uh, do this quickly and as efficiently 
uh, as possible. Olmec he sort of said, does, if he was a human, would sigh with resignation. Who knows what this means in Avix, but he does that. So, um, but the, the real question is, and he, he's looking to the others. He's looking at Hiver as well. Right. Um, um, what? No, no, Hiver just says um, uh, all the other hives must be told, and perhaps uh, all the other hives will come to a consensus. Even Spring deserve uh, a voice before their mulching uh, or annihilation. Scrang were there in their party here? Uh, like uh, how many Scrang in general? Yeah, um, just in, in the right. There are at least a dozen yeah. of them. Right. And was you remember when everybody got all upset for a little bit and all these weapons that everybody said that they didn't have appeared? Um, <laughs> the, 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 they were they were well prepared. They were. They they uh yeah. Probably the heaviest hitters in that regard are the Luca, however, as far that's as what raw, I do yeah, that's raw, what fire, yeah. mm -hmm. raw firepower is their specialty. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You might want to uh, perhaps uh, have a discussion with the Luca. They've been awful quiet, but mm -hmm. I think they will be very, uh, very much needed mm -hmm. <laughs> during this revelation. Mm -hmm. uh, Excellent. So, so you are there with an alien of the thrall, uh, says, uh, I am unaccustomed to making a decision in, in isolation. Um, usually we have to, you know, the, the collective must speak and the opposition must speak. Um, and it's sort of looking uncomfortable, like uh, my job was just to go back and report. So he's kind of looking at the other three of you. The idea that you guys are making a decision about this together and including him or it in it is disturbing to Ellen. So how do you want to handle yeah, that? I have to respect Ooh. that uh, piece of his, uh, his psyche. Mm -hmm. uh, or maybe we can manipulate him. Hyber will say, why? Yeah, why? I'll say to you, Ellen, uh, why? <laughs> or why not? <laughs> um, yes. Ellen kind of blinks and goes into kind of the, has no choice except to just kind of, well, I guess I'm the collective then. And then says, and then and then you guys can actually go into this kind of debate of, right. of, of what to do. Um, and uh, so Aelin will, will say the, the first duty is to report. And you say what? Why or why not? Right or something yes, like that. Exactly. Right. If I, if I, um, if by your action, Hyperthrall, um, uh, uh, we wait. Will the collector face the consequences of inaction? Life has already been lost. Life should not be lost. They agree. Further life, further life should not be lost. And and Aelin kind of blinks and says, "Oh, you know," it sort of goes kind of back into individual <laughs> mode, and and look and then looks at at the you and says, "All right, we'll proceed together." So the four of you are now kind of a little knot of we've got this special knowledge and we are going to give it out in a organized way, you know, without making a big fuss. Um, yeah. So that is um, uh, all I can say about that is that later the Scrang squad will come over and investigate the site thoroughly. <laughs> so strangely enough very little can be concluded from either what they say they found or whatever is left right um, but uh, but you guys got there first indeed and I think we should uh, 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 give our findings immediately and gather in one round excellent and so you guys are going to pull this band-aid right off shall we yeah Excellent. <laughs> okay, 
So that becomes the, uh, the, the conflict, obviously, looming for next time, um, as well as who knows what may be found and by whom. So, all right, everybody. Thank you very awesome. much. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Yeah. We'll talk yes. to you guys later on. Take care.